Hi, I'm Hannah from Enemy, and I'm here backstage at Mad Cool Festival with Rolling Blackouts Coastal Fever. Hello. Hi, how are you going? Very well. <laughs> um, so you've already played. How was it in this almost 40 degree heat? Well, it was pretty good, really. We've played hotter shows on this tour already. Like, like we played in Paris in a venue. Um, it was like not all that hot, but um, it didn't have air con. So it was like 100% humidity and like, I don't know, 45 degrees. Yeah, it, was, it was pretty much raining in there. It was, it was so <laughs> hot. So this one's packed. So this is nothing. Yeah, it's a piece of cake. Yeah. We played one in, uh, sorry, sorry, in Singapore as well, which was 40 degree heat, but in direct sun and humidity. So this kind of feels like home at the moment. It's yeah. like, it's hot, but it's dry. It's fine. Um, and how long are you in Madrid for? Or is it straight off onto more festivals? I think it's, yeah, it might be less than 12 hours, I think. Yeah. Um, and so I guess it's kind of, you're getting to the end of touring Hope Downs. Is it feeling a bit bittersweet that you're kind of coming to the end of that process? Or? I don't see it that way, no. I, I'm just looking forward to making new music. Mm -hmm. um, that's the next thing we have to do, or that we are going to do, we want to do. Uh, so I'm looking forward to it, yeah. But as soon as we get home, we're straight back into writing and creating another thing. Yeah, it's been, it's been great playing these songs, and it seems like it's been ages, but I realise we only put it out like a year ago. Mm -hmm. it, I don't know, it's... It seems like it's been out for so long. We've played the song so many times. So, yeah, I think we're just really excited to get back into it. Yeah. Have you started writing at all on the road? We've started writing for some more, some more songs, but I don't know. On the road, we can get bits and pieces, but I, I find writing on the road hard. I find I need to, like, have some time to, like, sit on a couch and stare out the window, and you don't get much time. Well, you get time to sit in a van and stare, but it's not the same thing. Somehow, somehow it's very different. <laughs> yeah, it's just not conducive to making songs for some reason. Um, was In the Capital recorded on the road, or was that one when you managed to have some off times? That came out a couple of months ago? That was recorded <laughs> in a place. When we recorded the album. Oh, we did. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's, that's an old old cut from, from the album that didn't, didn't make it on the album, just only because it didn't feel like it ma it didn't match the other songs yeah but then we wrote uh read my mind mm -hmm. and they kind of they fit together really well it seemed to us so we put it out on a seven inch um so kind of looking at that have you got people in mind you'd like to work with on new music or people you'd possibly like to collaborate with we're hopefully doing an album with uh, a guy called burke reed who's I don't know if he's well known in the UK, but he's he's well known in Australia for being a he's Canadian Australian, and he's he's was in this famous band called Girling in the late '90s, early 2000s, and he's great. But I don't know people we want to collaborate with. I haven't thought about collabs at the moment. I mean, not collabs, no. Although you know, there's I guess there's always backing vocals that we kind of like to add on top of or oh, underneath, you know, just to yeah. fill it out, which. Um, yeah, yeah, it's interesting kind of using other people's voices to make ours sound better. So we're here today at Mad Cool Festival. What was the first festival you guys went to? Uh, first festival? It might be Meredith, actually, in, in Victoria, in Mel uh, just out of Melbourne. It's a, it's, I think, yeah, it, it's tainted my idea of, of festivals forever because I feel like it's the greatest festival in the world every it's just only got one stage. It's a camping festival. Mm -hmm. It's about 15,000 people. Uh, and everyone has a, the best time of their life. And I, I've been going there for over 10 years now. Uh, and it's, yeah, I think that, that's probably it, yeah. And now I just pretty much compare every festival to that one, which is not fair. Uh, <laughs> there's always one which has got a place yeah, in Yeah, it's in my heart. It's deep in my heart, but yeah. Um, yeah, there's, I don't know, Tom? Uh, I was just thinking, well, um, I think, well, probably the Port Ferry Folk Festival with my parents used to go every year. It's like a kind of Celtic folk festival. Used to go as like a teenager and just hate it and just be like, oh, why are we going to this? So daggy, so like nerdy. But um, yeah, ended up, it's like, I don't know, Guinness and folk music and lots mm -hmm. of Irish people in Australia. So, but then um, the Big Day Out was the first like alternative mm -hmm. festival. It's like the big touring festival. Did you not go to that? Yeah, when it was like... 15 years old, 16 years old, all the big bands who are coming through will like play this massive festival over Australian summer, like mm -hmm. January, February. And um, yeah, saw a lot of good bands then. And 
uh, yeah, it's no longer, unfortunately, but it was the big, the biggest thing going back in the day. Um, and I guess finally, what else have you got coming up after festival season, or is it just heading back to the studio and writing? Um, we, well, we've got some um, headline shows in the UK. Uh, there's quite a few, I think. Um, so, sort of, we're mixing it up between festivals and, and headline shows over uh, over here at the moment. But yeah, once we get back to Melbourne, it's straight back into the rehearsing, writing. Um, yeah, getting that. Yeah, making a new a new thing, a new record. Um, I guess. Yeah, we'll see what see what comes out, uh, and then. Ideally, next year we'll be back here again, um, doing all of, all of this. <laughs> Although hopefully there's a, a pool at every festival we go to. Uh, well, thank you so much for your time and enjoy the rest of the festival season. We'll see you next year. Thank you. Thank you.